Hello everyone. Uh, today I thought a little bit uh, different topic I want to discuss with you. Okay. This is uh, relevant to the project management that is called power interest matrix. As I told previously, this is uh, when we conduct the project, we can use this uh, power interest matrix. So before discuss about power interest matrix, it is very important to know about what is project. Now you can see on the screen, a project is a temporarily unique and progressive attempt or endeavor. So that means project is temporary. Why it is called temporary? Because project has some time limit. Within defined time limit, time uh, frame time limit, we have to complete the project. Because of that, we can consider project is very temporary work, and project is unique. Because uh, when we talk about the project, we have some specific objectives, specific purpose. So project is unique, and it is progressive. As I uh, previously told uh, you. We have some time frame. So within that defined time frame, we have to complete the project. Because of that, we can consider project is a progressive. So again, I'm telling project is temporary, unique, and progressive attempt. When consider the results, project can create, uh, there are two types of uh, results. One is tangible, the other one is intangible. So whatever the attempt, temporary, unique, and progressive to create tangible or intangible results, that attempt we can call as a project. Then uh, stakeholders, that is also very important because when we conduct the project, there are several members has to participate, contribute. So whoever the people contribute, participate, uh, and take the benefits from the project, all those people we can consider as a stakeholders. So general definition is a stakeholder is a party that has an interest in a company and can either affect or be affected by the business. This is called general definition. When we especially talk about the project, we can little bit change this uh, definition. A stakeholder is a party that has an interest in a project and can either affect or be affected by the project. So it is also very important. So when we talk about the stakeholders, we can use the power interest matrix to categorize the stakeholders. The power interest grid is a matrix used for categorizing stakeholders. It used during a change project. Actually, there are several types of project. Most of the time, that power interest matrix we can use for the change project. But other project also we can use. But we have to keep in our mind, if we can use power interest matrix in a change project, we can take much more accurate results. Stakeholders are plotted in the grid in the relation to the power and interest they have in respect of the project. So based on the project, whoever the stakeholders, based on their power and interest related to the project, we can categorize. So for that categorization, we can use the power interest matrix. Now you can see some picture of the uh, power interest matrix. This is the x-axis, this is the y-axis. In x-axis, Already I have included power of the stakeholders. If not, we can tell influence of the stakeholders also. In the y-axis, level of interest of stakeholders. Usually we know uh, this is the direction, the increase in direction. That means when we consider the power, this direction power is increasing. When we talk y-axis, this direction, the interest is increasing. So we can put also in here the max, maximum level. In here also we can put the minimum. I just put 
m i n when consider the power also this is the minimum level just i put m i n this is the max level okay. now you can say uh, you can see there are four quadrant here when we talk about the power and interest if power minimum the interest level is low minimum level then that quadrant we call keep into account so if any stakeholder uh, put into this category we have to keep into account only but when we talk about this quadrant the power is high maximize then uh, interest is low so if power is high definitely we have to meet their needs so because of that we put this quadrant as meet their needs when we talk about the interest is high level maximum level and the power is minimum level so keep in form we have to keep in form whoever the stakeholders uh, we, which we put into this quadrant we have to keep in form but very important thing is if any stakeholders if we can put into this quadrant what is the quadrant interest level also high the power is high so we have to manage closely so before we start the project actually we can categorize our stakeholders into these four categories so based on that we can take the uh, we can we can we can take the actions okay so we'll do some uh, simple example then you can uh, clearly understand this concept uh, again so i'll go to this example okay we think our problem is absenteeism so we have to conduct project to reduce the absenteeism in our organization then first we have to think who are the stakeholders i just put some stakeholders this is not the exactly correct one but as example i just put okay when we talk about the absenteeism there are several stakeholders i just put hr manager production manager quality manager production supervisor quality supervisor admin manager organization owners top management associates that mean uh, whoever the people working in the organization training instructor parents ie manager like that there are several stakeholders there can be a lot more but as example i just consider only these stakeholders now we have to uh, do some trial run okay now you can see there are that whoever the stakeholder which i have explained i have put in here that uh, power interest matrix also in here so we can consider this now we have to divide into four quadrants okay i'm just putting four quadrant in here based on this uh, matrix okay this is the power axis this is the interest axis it is same as this okay hr manager when consider the absenteeism what about the interest definitely interest level is high then power power also high because hr manager can control this one hr manager has power to control the absenteeism and those kind of things so hr manager the the one of the stakeholder we can put into the quadrant in here that mean so interest is high power is high that mean this quadrant this quadrant manage question so i just put hr manager in here i just put the number number one because i have put the numbers here number one number two production manager regarding the absenteeism because without people we can't produce anything so production managers also interest is high interest is high but power power not uh, much more high when compared with the hr manager. so i can put production manager into this quadrant keep in form quality manager also we can put into here just i put the three production supervisor 
when talk about the production supervisor, definitely if the subordinates absent, uh, production supervisor has so much power to influence them. So power also high and interest of the, the people absenteeism, reduction of the absenteeism is high. So I can put the supervisor into the manage co closely quadrant. quadrant. Okay, so, so I put number four in here. Quality supervisor, interest, but no much more power. So I just put into here. Admin manager, okay? Not much more interest, not much more power. So I can put into here. I am telling not much more interest, not much more power based on this project that we have to understand. When come to the factory owners, regarding the absenteeism, okay, they have not much more interest as well as not much more power because they, they are not directly work with the people. So I can put owners also in here. Top management. Okay. Top management. Uh, what do you think? Top management also when consider the absenteeism problem, uh, they have not much more interest and much more power because they are dealing with uh, different uh, areas. They are not dealing with the uh, on the floor direct absenteeism related things. So I can put number eight also in this quadrant. Less power, less interest. Number nine. Sorry, number eight. Then associates, other workers, they are interesting, no? They are interesting, but they have not power because uh, when consider the incentive and everything, okay, if they like, okay, if the if their peers come to the work, if their friends come to the work, they like. So interest is high, but not much more power to control these matters. So I can put associate into this quadrant. Then training instructor. The training instructor actually uh not much more power uh not much more uh no we can tell okay training instructor has some much of power because uh, all the people connect with the training instructor most of the time but training instructor has not much more interest so i can put by as you mean training instructor into this quadrant the power is high but interest is low parents when con consider the absenteeism, also parents I can put into here because no much more interest, but power is high. I manager, okay, interest is high, but not much more power than I can put into here. So it is clear, I think it is clear to you, based on this uh, power interest matrix, we have in here, we consider 12, uh, stakeholders, we categorize that 12 uh, stakeholders into four category based on the power and based on the interest regarding the absenteeism related matter. So if any stakeholders, uh, if we put into this squadron, when we do the project, okay, we have to manage closely them. If anyone we put into this squadron, during the project, time by time, we have to inform them, keep informed, whatever the project's going on, what are the results, what are the action points which we have taken, we have to keep informed. If anyone we include into here, that means powerless, interest also less, keep into account. Just we have to keep into account. We no need to uh, inform them, we no need, uh, no, no need to manage them closely, but we keep in uh, keep uh, those people in account. But if anyone we put into this squadron, okay, at least we have to meet their needs. At least we have to meet their needs. Okay. So this is some example which we can uh, uh, which we can uh, use power matrix, power and interest matrix to categorize the stakeholders. So I would like to summarize the things. When we talk about the project management, there are some stakeholders in any project. So before we start the project, we have to categorize that stakeholders into uh, different categories. 
we can use power interest matrix to categorize the uh, stakeholders based on their power and based on their interest relating to the project topic. Okay, so I think the concept is clear. This is one of the example. So you can uh, do some trial and errors and you can get some uh, further uh, knowledge regarding this. Thank you very much.